everybody, Howie Fisher from Fisher's Flies. Thanks for checking in. Today I'm going to be tying up a phenomenal caddis dry fly pattern. This is the Mercer's Missing Link. If you've never fished this pattern, I would highly suggest it. For the hook today, I'm using an A-Rex Freshwater 503 in size 14. For thread, I'm using new TC 70 denier in tan. I'm going to get started pretty much right behind the hook eye. I'll leave a little bit of a gap, but not too much. Snip off my tag, and then I'm going to immediately tie in some midge flash pearl or crystal flash. Whatever you have will work great. I just prefer the midge version on these smaller sizes. I'm going to go ahead and tie it in again starting immediately, and I'm going to bring this back to in into the hook bend actually. So on this fly you want a little bit of a curve, make it look like a little bit of a natural bug, and bring it all the way back uh, into the bend of the curve as you see as you see I've done here. This body of the fly or this body um, thread body is meant to stay thin. This is going to be hanging below the water as an emerging um, caddis that is kind of stuck in the film. So you don't want it to be too thick or bulky. You also don't want it to sink the rest of the fly. There's no foam in this fly or anything like that. So you want a thin profile like this. Once you've done that, you can wrap your crystal flash forward to your thread in open spiral wraps. Secure it with a couple wraps and then snip it off. Next, what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of ball of dubbing. The original calls for peacock. I'm using ice dub olive brown. I tie it using both sometimes. It just depends on the day and the color variation of caddis that I'm trying to imitate. Here I'm specifically trying to imitate a tan caddis, so I'm going to use this lighter uh, ice dub version rather than the peacock. So I'm going to build up a little bit of ball, and it's important you have a little bit of a ball because it's going to fork out our next material. Before I move forward, and you can do this before you put the dubbing on, however you prefer to do it, just hit that body with a little bit of UV uh, solar as bone dry. This will just help that body to be more durable and not fall apart, especially if you catch a toothy trout. So again, once I've got that done, I'm going to grab my next material, which is Zelon or parapost material, whatever you have handy. I'm going to take a strip and I'm going to cut off a smaller piece about two inches in length and I'm going to split that piece in half. You definitely don't want this to be a full size version uh, or full size piece of material as you kind of want this to imitate uh, wings of the caddis that are stuck in the film. So I'm going to wrap this on with one side facing backwards and then pull the other side backwards like so and wrap backwards over that so you get this split wing effect. Again, these are kind of going to be hanging on top of or in the water to imitate a crippled or emerging caddis that's stuck in the film. For the hackle here, I'm using Yardbird Hackle from Flyfish Food in brown. This is a super long feather from this bird. I've been pretty impressed actually with this Yardbird hackle. It's it's not up to whiting quality per se. It does come from whiting, um, but I was actually not expecting it to be as good as it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and secure this on the near side of the hook, and I do want this to try and lay on the side of the hook. It will help the, the step of wrapping this hackle a little bit easier. And it is important to tie it in in this order. The next material is the wing material. I'm using Select Cow Elk from Nature's Spirit, and I'm using Bleached here. Again, I'm going for a tan caddis. The bleached version is also obviously a lot easier to see than the natural in certain circumstances. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare my hair. I'm going to pull out all the fuzzies, the shorts and the longs, and then I'm going to go ahead and throw it in my stacker. Once I have those tips where I want them, I'll pull it out. 
and I personally like my wing to be a little bit longer than the hook shank, just a tiny bit. I like, if you look at a real caddis, the wings are longer than the body, so I like to try and imitate that. So I'm going to pull my, my butts back, as you saw me do there, and I'm going to take some wraps in front of, and this is to prop up that um, those butts. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab my hackle, and I'm going to wrap it the opposite direction. So I'm wrapping it counterclockwise if you're looking down on the hook. And I'm going to give it three or four wraps before securing it right behind the eye. This is probably the most difficult, tricky part of this fly. The hackle piece can or thread can slip off of the eye sometimes. It's hard getting it to lay just right. And then you have to pull all of these fibers upwards and wrap your thread around just the shank and whip finish or I prefer a half hitch tool. It's a lot easier on a fly like this. But again, that last step is really the most difficult part of this fly. So if you can master that, this fly will be very reproducible. So again, I'm going to go ahead and half hitch a couple times, snip my thread and my excess hackle, and then I'm going to trim this fly up. So I'm going to trim the butts, not flush, but pretty close, similar to an elk hair caddis where you want a little bit of a bulk. This will act as a head for the fly and also help it to float. You're then going to take these wings that you've created with the Zelon, bring it back, and snip them again just past the length of the fly. And once you've done that, you have your fly. I like to hit mine with a little bit of bone dry solar as again, just added durability, make sure that nothing's going to come undone. And then I'll hit it with that UV light. And there you have it. Again, this is the Mercer's Missing, Mercer's missing Link. Phenomenal dry fly pattern, especially for rookies or fished as a double dry. If you've never tied them or fished them, definitely do so. You won't be disappointed. Time up, fish them. Let me know what you think.